Robert the Ghost Guerrero versus Yoshihiro Kamagai. Just watched this fight last night, and uh, I'm going to tell you what I think. Um, what a fight. Um, both guys wanted to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe inside the pocket for a lot of the fight. Um, uh, Yoshihiro Kamagai had like a... He, he had power, obviously. What was it? 24 wins, 21 knockouts, something like that. And uh, Robert Guerrero got decent snap in his punches, too. Decent power, but uh, anyway, uh, I didn't make prediction videos on this. I actually, I was out for the whole day, and I didn't, I didn't get time to, but anyway, I kind of thought that Kamigai could have uh, could have won if Robert Guerrero, since he took a long layoff, and he, if he was really rusty, he could have got caught or something like that. Um, but uh, pretty much, if Robert Guerrero came in very prepared... And no ring rust, he could pot, he could win this fight, and he did. But uh, yeah, so pretty much my prediction would have been pretty well, like a 50-50 maybe, maybe more for Guerrero. Um, but you can see Kamigai's got a lot of heart, and uh, it was definitely a good fight. Um, Kamigai actually did way better than I thought, like. Uh, but the thing is, like, it seemed like Guerrero wanted that kind of fight. It's like, he he went to the ropes and he stayed on the ropes. And it's like he could have just easily lateral movement and got out of the ropes, but he didn't. And then he did say at the end of the fight, I'm not a runner. Like, I, I stay toe-to-toe -to -toe and I fight the guy. Because the Guerreros don't like to be known as runners. So, he showed that. And, uh... Yeah, I, I think uh, Robert Guerrero could have maybe made the fight easier. Who knows? Maybe um, Kamagai was just, his pressure was getting to Guerrero sometimes. I don't know, but uh, it seems, sometimes it seemed like Guerrero wanted to stay on the ropes just to give the fans actually that kind of fight. He, he doesn't want to be known as a runner, like I said, but um, anyway, it was uh, it was a good fight. Um, it was a close fight until the, the couple rounds at the end. Robert Guerrero took the 12th, and that pretty much sealed the deal for me for giving it to Guerrero. The 12th round sealed it for me. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was just, uh, Kamigai landed heavy shots. Guerrero landed heavy shots. This was a brutal fight, a great fight. Both guys got tremendous heart, would not give in. Their wheels would not break. At the end, though, it looked like uh, uh, Kamigai was getting tired and he was starting to wilt a bit. But yeah, but anyway, it was uh, both guys didn't give in, and uh, Robert Guerrero wins. Uh, majority was it majority or was it unan? I think it was unanimous. Yeah, I'm th I think I'm thinking about the Lemachenko. Uh, Russell Jr. fight. I think that was the majority one. Yeah, this one was unanimous decision, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, what's next for both guys. Kamigai, I'd like to see him. He's fan-friendly. He's going to get a lot of respect after this fight. And and he's going to become more well-known. Uh, good Japanese fighter. Not much technical skill, but tremendous heart and good punching power. And uh, the heart of the heart of a fighter. That's all you need, really, to be a boxer. So, uh, and then the Guerrero showing off his skills, great combinations. Said he was doing weight training. You could tell his punches had a lot of good snap in them. And uh, if it wasn't Kamigai, maybe if it was another guy, he would have got knocked out. But Kamigai's got a solid chin, big guy, and he wouldn't go down. But Guerrero was landing like. His, the snap he was getting and the leverage on his punches was tremendous. So, and uh, Kamigai was standing up to them, though. But So, yeah, uh, Robert Guerrero's power and speed and technique looked really good after the layoff. And uh, even though he got hit a lot, that's the one thing. He did get hit a lot, but maybe, like I said, he didn't want to be known as a runner. 
Because sometimes he would move out of the rope so easily, and then sometimes he wouldn't. He would just stay there for a minute. Like, he wanted to just... He doesn't want to be known as a runner and a coward kind of thing. But anyway, it was, uh, it was a great fight. And uh, I'd like to see Robert Guerrero against... Uh, I don't know, I guess uh, maybe another title shot title shot soon. Um, and Kamagai, I'd like to see him against anyone too. Great fighter. And uh, Kamagai versus um, any guy at uh, 147 would be a good fight. Uh, Brandon Rios, Ruslan, um, Maidana. It would be great to see uh, one of those guys against Kamagai. That would be a good fight. And yeah, so good fight. Let me know, guys, what you think about uh, uh, the fight and their performances. Let me know in the comment section below. So yeah, good night of boxing. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.